Who's our desire to change? Just shut up and just say you know it's five o'clock. Okay. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Black. Welcome back. Welcome back to ClarkBartram.com. No! I'm John Riccio, and this is Clark Bartram. Yeah, right. Not. Right. Not. He doesn't want to be me. No. If you knew and me. He, and he doesn't want to be me. No, seriously, man. But it's he, funny. he does like the handicap parking, though, I think. Yeah. yeah, it helps sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, let, I have something that I wanted to talk about, but I want to kind of change that a little bit. I want to kind of go behind the scenes of, you know, I got a lot of fans out there and a lot of people that, I don't know. How do I say this? I don't want to seem arrogant or cocky. I mean, a lot of people see me in the magazines over the years and think that I'm kind of like something special. I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. People tend to put you up on a, a pedestal. And if you knew me, <laughs> trust me, you would not put me up there. And, and this guy knows me, you know, as good as anybody knows me. My family's all here in the background and they're shaking their head like, yeah, really, seriously, if you knew this guy. This website and the fact that I'm allowing or inviting you into my life and letting you know me as a guy. I love to have fun. I love people. I love to joke around. I love to abuse my friends, even if they're in a wheelchair. It doesn't yeah. matter to me. I'm an equal opportunity no, prankster, abuser. abuser. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is I don't want anyone to kind of put me out there. I mean, I don't, I'm not putting on makeup before I do these. You see me in segments with my hair sticking straight up. None of that image stuff really matters to me. I want you to know me. I want you to know who Clark Bartram really is. And you got a guy that's sitting next to me that really knows me. And I don't want you to sit here and talk about how, you know, it's not a segment of a ho ho great Clark is or anything like that. Yeah. It's just for people to really understand that I'm just a normal guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just that, like that's everybody true. else. I cut my grass. I yeah. beat my kids terribly. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. CPS, I don't. I love my kids. My son's sitting right here looking at me like, yeah, right, dude. You know? Did we get the makeup for those bruises? <laughs> But I'm just a normal guy, just like anybody else. Just because I have a physique, you know, that may or may not be as good as yours, or and because I've been on a magazine, uh, I've yeah. been on a TV show, and all that kind of stuff, doesn't make me any different than anyone else. It just makes me have a job that's different from yeah. yours. You I know? think I think people assume that you, because you're in the limelight, you get a, a I'm better than the, and that's not it at all. I think, you know, Clark understands that with every freedom comes responsibility, and. Uh, that keeps you humble because as many people and we've talked about this we've had so many talks about this and and it goes back to accountability as many people as you can help that's how many you can hurt um, and we, you know we we really trying to uh, you know me being the top handicap bodybuilder I had a responsibility Clark being the, the you know America's most trusted pit, fitness professional <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> try to say that fast with CP <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, there's a responsibility to maintain yourself, maintain character and integrity. And uh, these are core issues with myself and Clark. And But we want you to know that, that we're genuine. And because I, I, I wouldn't want, I, I don't think I would get along with Clark if he came across as I'm all that in a bag of chips. Like I said, that day... Uh, when he saw me in the gym, I looked into his eye and I genuinely knew he cared about me as an individual. But if he didn't, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, bud. I, I've, I've heard it a million times, you awesome handicapped guy dragging 75 pound dumbbells on your knees. I, I've heard it so many times, it wouldn't have meant anything, but he, he genuinely meant it. And he genuinely has stayed the same way. And I think if he wasn't that way, I'd be the first guy to say, hey, dude, man, you, you're letting this get to your head. You yeah. got to... You gotta come back down to earth. And I've been there before. I mean, early in my career when I started getting notoriety, a few of you guys came to me and said, Clark, you know, just need to watch yeah. the things that you say. A lot of times I would say stuff and I never really meant them to come off as being arrogant. Yeah. But I would say stuff and it just didn't sound right. It didn't come off right. Now I really understand having been doing this for as long as I have. And I value the fact that my friends would come to me and tell me, hey, dude, you're getting a little cocky. You're getting a little arrogant. Yeah. My wife tells me all the time. Not all the time, but you know what? If I am, my kids will tell me. My Close friends will tell me, but really, I, I want to do this segment to let you know that I'm just a guy like you, or I'm just a person like you, and that I have issues in life that need to be dealt with on a day-to-day -day basis. I have ups, I have downs, I have in-betweens, and everything else. But at the end of the day, I understand that life is about growing. Life is about 
really appreciating where you're at and appreciating what you have and appreciating the fact that there are great people that God or the universe or you know whatever you want to define it as it doesn't matter to me but eventually they come into your life and you need to cherish those uh, people and opportunities just like I cherish the fact that I have the ability to come into your home through this website and talk to you so know that I'm just a real guy know that I have fun I love my job and I love to do what I do and the fact that I just get to hang out with guys like this yeah. and encourage you and you know what guys I'm, I, I am here and, and I've known him for so many years and, and I, I never did find a Superman cape anywhere I mean he really is just a normal human being Batman uh, cape Batman, Batman cape, yes, but the Superman, Superman and it, and I tried bringing kryptonite around, but but it didn't affect him, so I know he's human. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that's that. You know, just a little inside the, you know, life of Clark Bartram. We're in my house. We're in my living room. My son's sitting right there, just kind of watching me, thinking, "Wow, my dad's weird, man." And it, I only bring him on here and let him tell some stories. Then you would really not be too impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Because these people all have stories. If they wanted to tell, they could and just totally wrap me up. But that's not what we're doing today. Because I do got to maintain a little bit of an image. So anyway, I'm Clark Bartram, and I will talk to you later. See you. Bye-bye.